never judge a song by its title or a title by its song. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best named songs. An ocean in the ocean. Is there hope broke? For this list, we're choosing songs with unique titles and ignoring overly obscure, goofy, or novelty tracks, or songs that are just downright offensive. And while the song quality is not the main criteria for our choices, it is a consideration that's mixed in with the story behind the title and how much it stands out. Number 10, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, ACDC. the death of lead singer Bon Scott, the band briefly considered breaking up before regrouping around new singer Brian Johnson. Although every song on the Back in Black album proved the band could continue after Scott, this one more than the others cemented that stance. Defiant against critics of all kinds, the hard rock and blues rock track was also the album's highest charting single, hitting number 15 in the UK and gaining a ton of pollution-free airplay. Number 9, Riders on the Storm, The Doors. Riders on the Storm. Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Never mind the rainfall-like electric piano or the spooky whispered vocals, this title is a story unto itself, as it's reportedly based on the late Jim Morrison's life. Take a long holiday The title of the L.A. Woman song was so strong, it became the band's name when guitarist Robbie Krieger and keyboardist Ray Manzarek were denied usage of The Doors name following Morrison's death. Girl, you gotta love your man. Take him by the hand. Make him understand. I seem to recognize your face. Number 8. Elderly woman behind the counter in a small town, Pearl Jam. According to frontman Eddie Vedder, this song gained its lengthy title due to him growing bored with the band's usual one-word titles. Descriptive and visual, the title sets the tone and nature of the story before it ever even begins, and can almost be considered a casting call. Better claims he never physically wrote the lyrics to the song down, but instead sang out the story while demoing it. And here minutes later, the demo was complete, and the result is an acoustic delight that hit the top 40 on the American Rock Tracks chart. Number 7, Champagne Supernova, Oasis. How many special people change? How many lives are living strange? Where were you while we were getting high? It may not make sense, but then it kind of does. Slowly walking down the hall, faster than a cannonball. The title perfectly matches not only the swirling and psychedelic music of this Oasis song, but also its poetic and artful lyrics. In a champagne supernova. The title is also in tune with the spinning out of body feeling of drunkenness or the dizzy heavy headedness of a hangover. Meanwhile, the song itself was a top 10 hit on the American Rock Tracks chart. Bye. 
Writer Noel Gallagher also gained extra mileage from the title, naming both his home and his signature Epiphone guitar model after the song. Number 6. Peace Sells, Megadeth. Driven to write metal songs that were more socially and politically aware, Dave Mustaine lifted this song's title from a Reader's Digest article discussing then-current Cold War politics. That piece, titled Peace Would Sell But No One Would Buy It, also lent itself to the album's full title, Peace Sells But Who's Buying It. Homeless while working on the album, Mustaine wrote the song's lyrics with a marker on the wall of the band's rehearsal space. And despite its humble beginnings, the track is now a live staple and a metal standard. Number 5 bullet with butterfly wings, The Smashing Pumpkins. Secret destroyers, hold you up to the flame. Sure, it's home to a bag full of awesome riffs and Billy Corgan's overwrought It Sucks to Be Famous lyrics, but it's the title that pulls you right in. Is it a friendly bullet? A mean butterfly? Both? Violent and peaceful, it's a strange combination that creates a powerful image of something. While not mentioned in the lyrics, the title still manages to sum up the song and tells the listener that this will not be your average alt-rock song. The fact that it was the band's first top 40 on the Hot 100 proves it. Number 4. Comfortably Numb, Pink Floyd. There is no pain you are receding. The song may contain two of the greatest guitar solos of all time. But even on its own, the title is a slice of fried gold. Comfortably numb. comfortably numb was actually based on a real incident where bassist Roger Waters was in pain and was subsequently pumped full of tranquilizers to get through a live show. a perfect match to the subject and feel of the song, the Waters Gilmore co-write was originally titled The Doctor. I put my finger on it now. Owing to its role and placement in the storyline of its parent album, The Wall. Smells like teen spirit, Nirvana. Together, those four words were strong enough to launch a career, create an icon, and revolutionize modern music. They also could have helped sell a lot of pit stick. Kurt Cobain had the idea for the title when a friend wrote Kurt Smells Like Teen Spirit on his wall. Cobain thought she was giving serious props to his legit, rebellious outlook, and not the fact that he smelled like his girlfriend's deodorant of the same name. Text is everything, kids. 
Not that it mattered too much, considering the alt-rock legacy this song has left. Number 2. I Am The Walrus, The Beatles I am he as you are, he as you are me, and we are all together. Now here's another clue for you all. The walrus was Paul. Written to both confuse and mock people who read too deeply into Beatles lyrics, the title of this song is The Perfect Bait. The John Lennon modeled the melody after a police siren and threw in random literary references at will, only sweetens the deal. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, our lawyer made us change the name of this song so we wouldn't get sued. Fall Out Boy. Brothers and sisters, put this record down. Take my advice. We are Fall Out Boy is known for ear catching titles like My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark. My song know what you did in the dark. But this one's 15 word moniker is both lengthy and accurate. Not to mention, it was far and away your most voted pick on our suggestion poll. A song about fame. The original title, My Name is David Ruffin and These Are the Temptations, is a nod to Ruffin's desire to rename the Motown vocal group after himself. I've got so much heart in the bees and the me. This desire, along with other questionable behavior, instead led to his dismissal. While we have no comment on whether lawsuits would have been drawn, the late singer's estate did sue NBC and others for the depiction of his death in a miniseries based on The Temptations. So maybe the boys were smart to heed their lawyer's advice. Agree with our list? What's your favorite song title? Well, here's a quarter called Someone Who Cares. For more titular top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And might give a damn, maybe one of your sorted affairs.